In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to manually pitch correct your vocals in Cubase 12 and just explain a little bit about some of the things that you need to know in order to correctly pitch correct your vocals. Without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. What's up and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube on mixing and mastering. So consider subscribing, click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. But let's just get straight into into it. The first thing that you need in order to pitch correct your vocals is knowing the key of your song. If you don't know what the key of your song is, there are a lot of tools you can use. So in this video, I'm going to be using Melodyne, which is one of the tools that I really trust when it comes to finding the key of my song. You can also use Auto Key in Autotune Pro and many other things available out there. So what I'm going to do is go to my instrumental right here and add Melodyne. Melodyne is also a pitch correction too. If you'd like me to make a video on how to pitch correct your vocals using Melodyne, you can comment in the comment section below. But for now, I'm just using it to find the key of this song. What I'm going to do is transfer some information to Melodyne. Click on transfer here and play my beat. <laughs> So I played the beat for some time. It just gave me the key right here, A flat major. Just remove this from here. So let me play the vocal so that you listen to the off pitches and so on. Oh, Every day we prove in the hustle. All right, so this right here is the vocal we're dealing with. Again, I'll put the beat back on mute. Then just double click on the vocal, click on vary audio, then just activate it using this button here. All right, so this will pop up right here and you see that it's now in colors here. The most important thing that you need to do in order for your pitch correction to work properly and just have a guide of where you're supposed to place things is come right here, this section here. This is the most important thing here. It can act as a guide for your pitch correction. Set the key of your song here. So if you remember the key we found for this song was A flat major. So if you take a look at what we have here, you can't see A flat major here, but A flat major is just the equivalent to G sharp major right here. So I'll just click on G sharp. We've set the key of our song and I'll simply go down here and click on show scale note guidelines. So let me zoom like this. So I want you to take a look at what will be happening to these guidelines here once I select on show scale note guides here. You see that something is changing. When I activate show scale note guides here, what is happening is this is giving me kind of a guideline to where the notes in G sharp major should be. So this way I'll know where to place these things here for them to sound in key. So these gray guidelines here is what I need to follow in order to be in key. If I change this key, you see that these lines change. Every single time I change the key, the lines change. We are working with a flat major which is just the same as G sharp major. All right so now that we've established this set the key and activate show scale note guides let's now dive into the actual pitch correction right here. I've clicked my vocal here then I'll simply highlight everything let me zoom so that you see what is really going on. Go to correct pitch and start moving this so basically what we've done here is pushed all these bars to the nearest key. You notice that most of these have gone to the gray lines here, but some of them are not in the gray lines. We need to go in and fix those that are falling off and also fix a number of things. Let me just play this so that we listen to what we have. As we Oh, yeah, yeah. Every day we prove in the hustle, oh. 
All right, so you can see that in some of the places, things sound great. They sound better now, but in some areas, they're just a little bit off. So we just need to go in there and fix them. I'll start with the first part here. Just zoom in. If you take a look at this, this is in key already in the gray line here and this is already in the gray line but we've got some of these things falling off like this what you see falling off here means that somewhere here something needs to be in another line so what you need to do to fix this is come to the part where it starts falling off for example like these parts here and just cut here and also cut on this side so you see that it falls down here but if you take a look at this it's falling into the black line here. So what to do is push it down there. So this is basically where it's supposed to be. Then just make sure that everything else is in line. For parts like this that are not falling off too much, sometimes when you listen to the vocal, you might find that maybe you might want to straighten them using that. But before you do that, you need to make sure that you first listen to it. If it sounds great, don't go there, don't touch it, just leave it there. So let me just play this part and see what I've done here. So you see that this part actually sounds great it sounds okay like that let's move on to this part here which is falling off i'll split it here and uh, split it here also again if you take a look at this this is in the gray line meaning it's in pitch and this one is falling off a little bit i'll just push it back to the pitch in the line and this in the line then make sure this is in line if you're able to split even on parts like this you can split maybe let me try to see if i can split it somewhere else so then i can split it somewhere at this point so i'll simply split and make sure i put it where it's supposed to be the nearest gray line here is this one here so simply just push it back there and make sure that everything is in place so let's just play this part as we maya as we maya so you can see that things are working now then if i come here you see that this is almost falling off and this has fallen off completely so i can split here and also split there so i'll push this back there which is the nearest and i'll maintain this here if you take a look at this we have two gray lines that are just next to each other so this is still where it's supposed to be if you listen to parts like this and feel like maybe you can straighten them you can straighten them like that using this but make sure you listen and see if it needs to be straightened so i think that sounds great right there i'll keep on playing this if i hear anything that's off then i'm going to attack it so at this point right here just like we did let's go and split okay so it falls to this part right here which is still in the key this is in the right key but you can see these cavings here this is some kind of vibrato shaking of the vocal and so on maybe you can try to straighten it a little bit make sure everything is in line if we take a look at this part here this is off because it's in the black line we'll try to split this one push it there this one is still in the center of the black line so we don't know where it falls if it's up or down let's start with the bottom one so definitely doesn't sound good on this part so i'll take it here so let's just play this and see what it sounds like from the beginning all right that sounds great let's play with the beat go through this and do all sorts of things it's basically the same thing just go and edit this exactly as i did so up to this point if you are not getting it then it means you've skipped a very important point watch the video properly without skipping anything after you've done the pitching and so on maybe you could add some auto-tune to your vocal that's if you like auto-tune because auto-tune has a sound to it and whenever you put it on a vocal not only does it pitch correct your vocals there's a certain sound that it adds to the vocal you can basically tell that there is auto-tune here 
let me drop auto tune here just switch on my auto tune and it's right in the key all right guys thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel grow and i really appreciate it if you're new to the channel please subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a brand new video follow me on instagram at jdmg on facebook at jdmixgenius let's interact there see you in my next video peace